If you need any help, just call 818-280-9410 and you could talk to Shadow. But no, I wasn't tied to criminals. I wasn't affiliated with them. I had nothing to do with their actions outside of the fact they wanted to help me deal with my cyber stalkers. Skip it up, the fucking loser faggot. Okay, so the, the sponsor that came up to me uh, fairly recently, and I'm excited as hell that we were working together, is called shadowsgovernment.com. Uh, these guys work with uh, digital forensics, online psychological criminal profiling, and the one I'm going to be talking about the most, okay, is cyber criminal investigation, all right? about, And I am so... 110% behind them for what they're doing. So thank you, shadowsgovernment.com, for being a Review Tech USA sponsor. I'll have a link to the website below in the description. Check it out. They also have a phone number. If you need any help, just call 818-280-9410, and you could talk to Shadow, who's the guy who runs the website. Good morning, and thanks for staying up with us. Earlier Friday, we told you about a man who was arrested for pre pretending to be a doctor in Somerset. It turned out his scheme was part of a much bigger operation to exploit security issues worldwide. And Katie O'Toole has that story. Todd Nisley was arrested after impersonating a doctor at Somerset Community Hospital. But he says there's more to the story. Todd was a patient when he wondered just how secure the hospital is, both physically and technically. He runs an online conglomerate of computer hackers from all over the world called Shadows. You know, I'm excited as hell that we were working together. It's called shadowsgovernment.com. It's an online conglomerate of computer hackers from all over the world called Shadows. He says they perform experiments to open people's eyes about technical security and inspire them to protect their privacy. We would uh, go in uh, and test security and see, you know, basically how far we can get. He says he simply walked in the door, walked up to an open closet and grabbed a white coat. Looking the part, he was able to do whatever he wanted for 45 minutes until police say a nursing supervisor asked if he was a doctor. He says by just passing through, he had full access to the hospital computers. He claims he did not do anything with the information, but only wanted to prove the point that somebody could, which is what Shadows is all about. Now, if I were a bad hacker, which I'm not, I'm a white hat hacker, if I were a bad hacker, to go into the computer rooms and now that would put everybody in this town um, susceptible to data breaches so you know and that's very very private information so. he claims that easy access to medical records and other information gives someone all they need to steal an identity including insurance information driver's licenses and even social security numbers according to the criminal complaint somerset community hospital plans to prosecute to the fullest extent possible we reached out to them but they declined to comment Shadow, or Todd Nisley, has 28 criminal convictions including drug charges, forgery, fraud, impersonating a doctor and receiving stolen property. 44,000 people saw his video promoting Shadow before it was taken down, Rich told 44,000 people, including impressionable kids to directly contact this convicted criminal. Now let's listen to Rich downplay this. So let's begin, shall we? Man, this is going to be awkward, but it needs to be done. Um, one of the things that I did in the end, what I, what I was called by an individual named Shadow. He called me and said, pretend that we are your sponsors and make a video announcing us as your sponsors because the people that are your trolls and your, and your cyber stalker, it'll really scare them off. And I did do that. I made a video saying my most important sponsorship ever. I advertised Dr. Michael Nucitelli's uh, whole eye predator thing. I made a video t telling people to go check out Shadows. If they're having the same issues I am, this is what Shadow, the uh, he cyber intelligence and whatever else he did. This is what he specializes in. I even gave out his phone number. You could call him. Looking back on that now, that wasn't a good idea, but again, hindsight being 2020. But I knew nothing about these people. I thought they just, their intentions were noble. They were looking to help me out with, you know, cyber stalkers, so on and so forth. So I, I kind of jumped in hook, line, and sinker. Well, behind it, there was two things that happened. One, the trolls, because they really didn't like them and they didn't like that they were helping me, uh, started digging up dirt and finding out information. Um, especially on shadow and I had some phone calls which I won't go into detail with because I don't feel like anyone you know coming after me um, I had some phone calls with both uh, Dr. Nucitelli 
and Shadow that I didn't really like where they went. That's what I will leave them at. And the final stroll was was when someone in their group, who I won't name, uh, actually posted on Twitter that they would pay someone to dox my cyber stalker, which that was the line in the sand. I didn't want doxing. Okay. Shadow is putting a bounty on their head. Easy money. $200 for dox on the following. My best birthday present ever is from a buddy of mine from across the pond. You screwed up, pal. But it's the best gift I received in a long time. Someone sent me a possible dox of the psycho that has been relentless on me. I'm tired of this prick. I would like to thank Anonymous, I Predator and Shadow's government for helping me proactively identify and locate Jason aka Review Hell USA. Okay, they did find out where, what country my cyber stalker was in, but they never got me any explicit information. I never paid for a dox, I never did any of that. So, after that, I, I, I cut ties with them. But one of the things I constantly see, and one of the things that have been used against me is that I affiliated with criminals. And that is absolutely not true. Birch, this man is a convicted criminal, correct? And you promoted him while putting your audience at risk of a convicted fraudster. So it's very simple. You did indeed affiliate with a criminal. These are facts. I know that Shadow now has a record, but whatever he did in his past had nothing to do with what we were tied with. It was simply him trying to help me with my issue, okay? And whatever they did in the past had nothing to do with me. I worked with them for maybe a month and a month and a half, and when I felt uncomfortable, I bailed. Now, the one thing I will say that was my mistake, okay, is that I learned a lesson from that, is that always... If you are on YouTube and people are coming forward, and I, I do it all the time now, when people ask to you if you know be your sponsor or work with you, always do your homework on them. Because even if they seem legit from the front, they have a very professional email that they send you, you never know what's going on behind the scenes. And from that situation, I learned a valuable lesson. You know, I, and my mistake with that was, is I jumped into it too quick because I was scared, I was nervous, and I, and I wanted the situation resolved, and that was my mistake. But no, I wasn't tied to criminals, I wasn't affiliated with them, I had nothing to do with their actions outside of the fact they wanted to help me deal with my cyber stalkers. No more, no less. So all the other allegations that are made with that are complete BS and totally false. So thank you, shadowsgovernment.com, for being a Review Tech USA sponsor. I'll have a link to the website below in the description. Check it out. They also have a phone number. If you need any help, just call 818-280-9410, and you could talk to Shadow, who's the guy who runs the website. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, Ready? and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen.